In this video, we will use a C-sharp script and a, a free package that would help us uh, highlight and select a game object to display a gizmo that will help us move uh, and rotate the game object in one time and also scale it and also will help us uh, or, or allow us to shift between a global space transformation and local space transform transformation like so. In my Unity editor, I have a number of 3D game objects over here with materials in the material folder assigned to them. And I also have two materials, one for the highlight materials and one for selection materials. So feel free to create materials as you prefer. To start, we need to install the free package called Runtime Transform Handle by Peter. Uh, I'll put links in the description to the YouTube video from the Binary Ego channel that explain it and the GitHub source. Uh, so to install the package, go to, in Unity Editor, go to Edit and Project Settings, then select Package Manager. And under the name, I'll put these details in the description. You could copy them uh, from there. So, uh, so under the name, paste this text and under the URL paste the following text and under the scope uh, it's com.shift I'll, I'll put all these details in the description so you could just copy them and click save you'll notice the shift registry is added then go to a window uh, package manager and uh, make sure you under packages my registries over here so just select my registries and then the select the runtime transform handle and click install once the installation is done you will notice that under the packages a new package called runtime transform handle has been added next we will need to add a tag so select any game object and go under the tag uh, press uh, select add tag and select the plus and uh, write select tuple with capital S and press save and then select all the game objects you want to be able to select in the runtime so in my case I want to select everything but the plain game objects and then assign the tag to them all together the selectable tag okay so next we uh, under the assets we'll create a new uh, game or a uh, new folder we'll call it scripts and inside that uh, folder, I'll create a new C sharp file and we'll name it select transform gizmo. And then I will create a, an empty game object that hold that, uh, that will, uh, will link to that file. So right click, create empty, we'll name it the same, select transform gizmo and then I'll drag that uh, script file into that newly created empty game object and select it to make sure the script is there and then double click on the script to open it in Visual Studio. So in the script file I added number of lines and I'll put link in the description it's a github link that where you could download the code from there. So I'll just go through the code scroll through it that's the whole code and you notice here uh, I put a number of lines that control the keyboard hotkey so for the move I put W for the rotation when the user press E on the keyboard and for the scale is R and also to move between the global or world and local space the user could press shift and G for the global or world space and 
shift and l for the local space but feel free to sh to change those to your preference so if we save the file and go back to the editor i will select the game objects to which the script is attached to and here we need to assign the highlight and selection so in the my materials folder i have already created uh, two materials that i want the highlight and the selection to look like and we just assign those and now if i click play now i could uh, highlight them by hovering over them select them and then the gizmo will show i could use it to move and if i press e in the keyboard i'll rotate could be able to rotate and if i press r i could scale and i then press w to move now this is the local space but if i press shift and g we'll move to the global space and shift and l back to local space where i could move locally that's it thank you please like subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this